glorious and honorable food club. These three wise captains sailed the world seeking the ultimate bite, whether it being an unknown hole in the wall or the hardest reservation in town. Each episode, they decide if a restaurant will be presented with the coveted food club plaque or they will burn the award in front of their door. A disgrace. This is a big moment for Foo Club. Uh, we're about to plaque Son of a Gun. This is what it's all about. We eat somewhere, really enjoy it, and we present them with this plaque. And this plaque's been a long time coming. It's been almost two years. It's been just over two years. That's because this is all etched by hand, and it also takes us a long time to not be lazy and actually come to the place. So the plaque took about a week to make, and the lazy part took about two years. But uh, we should go in and give them their plaque, right? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's go plaque in. them. Let's do it. Hey, Chad. How are you, man? Good to see you. Present you official Food Club Black. Oh, what an honor. John Chef Bezos. Son of a gun, that's right. Daddy's got a spot on the wall for sure. Totally. Amazing. I think he needs to go right here. I feel like right there, maybe? Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that prominent enough? There we go. <laughs> The perfect barn me sandwich is underway. The captains travel to Alhambra, California, far from the comforts of Hollywood, to sample this delicious Vietnamese sandwich in person. Hey, we're out here in Alhambra at Ba Mi Mai Tho, my favorite Ban Mi place in the world. Aziz is a sandwich expert. He's never had it before. We'll see what he thinks. I'm very excited. I'm not a sandwich expert. I've, I've eaten a lot of sandwiches. I read on the net that it says, you know, that you're you call yourself an expert, so that's why I said it. Fair enough. What's your specialty here? For the... For the... Thanks, Cheers. In Philly, they have like a big Vietnamese population. There's this place called Cafe Little, that when I first went to college, it was $1.50 for a tofu bami, and I had like $3 a day budget. So it was a bami and a 40 of old <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That's amazing. It's so good. Mm. Mm. We've seen some ground up peanuts, onions, carrots, daikon, cucumber, cilantro, a little bit of mayo. Scallion? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Jalapeno. Ooh. 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 I haven't hit that that's mayo. Not a, that's not a Hollywood hot. That's like a real hot. Last time we had Vietnamese food, there was a horrible accident. I got a little upset with Suave Yang. I may have taken a piping hot bowl of pho and threw it on his leg. The thing about um, getting into Food Club is there's a long two to three year hazing period. Aziz was fully in his right to throw that hot soup all over his friend. Uh, we don't look at it as a negative thing. We're just kind of teaching the swab of what it takes to actually be a Food Club captain. I remember when I told my parents I was going to be a chef and they kind of responded with, I heard you, you know, we kind of figured you were gonna work in the food service industry. We thought that that's where, where you would end up, and, and now I can say to my parents, you know, look at where I am now. This was a huge honor. I, I really didn't know what it was all about until after the fact, and then um, I Googled the individuals that, that came in and presented it, and realized that we were dealing with uh, a world-class food authority. Um, something to take very seriously. Food Club. The captains read a New Yorker article about a secret dining club downtown called Wolf's Mouth. Of course, that whets their appetite, and they finally get a reservation to Chef Craig Thornton's exclusive establishment. Will Chef Craig see a Food Club plaque, or will the captains burn the trophy at the door? Thank you. Uh, we are. We call a secret number. And they're gonna give us the door code or they're gonna come down? I don't know. Then the email it says just call this number. One minute. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Food club here. That's it. So we go Shelly. Shelly, Aziz, it's gonna meet you. Hi. How many courses tonight? Nine? Nine. Um, thanks for coming out. So this uh, first course is uh, broccoli tempura, broccoli and cheddar puree, broccoli stock and jalapeno slaw, broccoli flour, ribeye cap, and pink lady apple with a little bit of lime. But captains, don't have the tea. First course. 
So this is uh, cauliflower puree, Dungeness crab, raw turnip, raw cabbage juice, Brussels sprouts tossed with some fish sauce, sorrel flowers, sorrel leaves, and green apple. Oh, the Brussels sprouts deep in there. What makes Wool's Mouth special is the experience. It's a really unique taste. It's about sitting at a communal table with 12 other strangers. It's BYOB. You're encouraged to bust your own plates and serve food. The energy is not stuffy like your uh, normal fancy pants kind of dinner. What is your role here? I help manage who gets in and who doesn't. What did you think when you first got my email? I think you included a picture. And it was, that worked. You're human. You're going to remember certain emails that catch your eye. Yeah. That's a captain's tip. If you want to get into a very special secret place, put a funny JPEG in there. Make sure you compress it to the right size so it's not this big 3 meg file. You want like 100K. That's it. Ooh. I'm looking forward to plating something. Just tell me what to do. I've never done anything like this before. No. Wolner will do it. He'll burn his fingers. Oh, Just don't drop it no matter what. I'll do, I'll do the burning part, okay? Oh my god, it really does burn. Fuck this up. Is it really hot? Yeah, yeah man. Oh, it's so fucking hot. Oh god. Walder, oh what god. are you doing? Tighten it up, tighten it up. I don't think I should have Walder do this. I'll eat the ones that I fucked up. This is a Captain Plated dish. Took about almost two years for me to actually receive the plaque. So it was two years of just tons of anticipation. I mean, it's the most prestigious honor that you can get, and I happened to be the first. I decided to um, to hang the plaque right here, right right by the exit. So when I walk out, people ask me questions about it. What is Food Club? And I just ignore them because they should know. Techniques. The thing I notice at a lot of restaurants when I watch other people eat is that they don't know how to eat. We, we have a lot of advanced techniques for really absorbing taste. Sometimes I like to create a waft tunnel. It's just rushing the smells into your nose at such an accelerated level that you're experiencing the smell on a level that most diners unfamiliar with the technique would never be able to achieve. So this is uh, chocolate tofu mousse, pistachio cake, lightly candy, raspberries, a berry tofu sherbet, and blueberry meringue, and then uh, pistachios. A lot of times the one thing that really gets in the way of enjoying food is all this uh, arm work. Uh, what we'll do is the captain will feed the captain to his right. You gotta be, just accept whatever they give you and that's what makes the food club get enough, an extreme uh, and an elite experience. That's a great bite. Here it comes. You got a little what bit there. What the fuck happened? I'm sorry. Thank you, Swab. Swab Yang, why'd you let that piece of chocolate fall down on his shirt. You're supposed to intercept that. Oh, great. You rubbed it into his shirt now with water. Great. I made it worse. Do you, do you want your other leg? Do you like your other leg? I have a whole dinner to do. I gotta shoot the judge's table with this. All right, can, I, let's just try to block that out. I, I need to have my bite. This is gonna be one of our tougher ones. This is a tough decision. This is plaque five. Son of a gun, ink. Gorbals, Todoraku. Listen, we go to ink, we plaque them. The next week, what happens? GQ, GQ. Magazine. Number oh, one restaurant. Number one restaurant. Oh, big coincidence. Oh, there. we had nothing to do with that. No. <laughs> oh, what is it? <laughs> no, I think we had. I think we had a lot to do with that. Well, of course, the first time I saw a Food Club plaque, I, I scoffed. What could a mere piece of metal and wood have to do with the quality of any restaurant? But the plaque and the restaurant seem to interact in this almost chemical way. I mean, it, it, it'd probably be more described in terms of cosmology than in terms of, you know, meat and fish and vegetables. I don't know whether to eat dinner or to fall to my knees and start worshiping. It's a difficult choice, frankly. What has been your biggest freak out in this scenario? Have you kicked anyone out? We kicked one guy out because he was, uh, we felt he was a womanizer. He was being like super like uncomfortable, like, and inappropriate to some chicks. Did he come by himself? Or? He came with his little trophy wife. Okay. So, so essentially he was like the cancer of the group. So I just went up politely next to him, grabbed him by his neck, and whispered in his ear, you can get the fuck out. Really? And then he, he left. But what was weird is- the wife stay? She stayed because she wanted to eat. She's like, uh, <laughs> I've been waiting this whole time to come eat. So 
so good. Damn. Oh my god. There's so much hamming it up in this. <laughs> trying to be natural, but it's like, whoa, oh, oh, oh. yeah. This is amazing. Hiking ceremony. Beautiful. Here's our options. We give Chef Craig the plaque. B, we light that thing on fire, let it burn on his doorstep, maybe cause a, cause a fire to this entire loft complex. Are we all in agreement? Yes. Captains are ready for you. Let's do this. Hey, Craig. Uh, take a seat. There were some tremendously high highs. As well as some devastating lows. One of the real, real um, low points for me was seeing one of my captains touch your precious meatballs. The test was Wolner asking, hey, can I just touch stuff? And he said, yeah, sure, touch whatever you want. Scary stuff. Second thing, I think you should have just made an announcement. When you're eating dessert, you should take your own bites because one of the captains might give you a big bite and you might ruin my, bl my blouse. But, but if you notice, both of the mishaps during the dinner, the devastating lows, were from this guy right here. So your food ruined shirts. He has a point, Captain. No, no, you ruined shirts with my food. They're amazing, amazing points of the night. One of the most beautiful meals I've ever had. But I'm leaving with a stain. Chef Craig, Food Club has deemed Wool's Mouth plaque worthy. Thank you. Congratulations, Chef. Thank you. Congratulations, Jeff. Thank you. Well done. Congrats, Craig. Thanks for totally not ruining my night. Swab, warm up the car, please. Congratulations, Chef Craig, for joining the few privileged and honored to have won the Food Club plaque. Who will be next? We've had a really long day. We just took down a nine course meal at Wolf's Mouth. Uh, I feel like at this point, there's only one thing left to do. Go get to some sleep. tacos. One of my favorites is Manny here at Last Call Taco. He invented a dish called Taste of Heaven. Take a tortilla, then he puts uh, meat, cheese, and another tortilla, then he puts a layer of uh, black beans on top, and then some sour cream, and then some avocado slices. Caps. Taste of Heaven. Let me shave that back, back a bush. Back, back a bush. Back, back a bush.